Hello people, it's Cole. I'm so glad you're here to hang out with me today. If you enjoy print materials from the 80s, 90s, and Y2K, uh, I have them for you. This week we'll be flipping through The Great American Wish Book by Sears. This is a Sears catalog from 1992. I did a part one where I began flipping through this a couple of months ago and um, we're gonna pick back up on that. It's calling my name, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so we will be picking up where we last left off, uh, which is, I think, kids clothes? Where's my bookmark? Yes. Okay, I love these tennis sweaters. I've always wanted ten a tennis sweater. I love children's clothing. I wish that, um, adult clothing was styled like children's clothing because it's just so colorful and graphic and I don't know the scale is always weird like really big scale which would be cool on an adult <laughs> okay um whoa well, all right so well, this is definitely a, an interesting editorial choice by the photographer Look at these girls wearing little Levi's. <laughs> they are all frowning, sad. They're all so sad. No one else in this catalog is uh, frowning like that. All the other kids are smiling and chipper and happy. These girls are just are just so depressed in their Levi's. I love that concept. Whoa, these fur coats, these little girls' fur coats with a fur muff and a fur... Wait, is it a purse? It's a muff, but it's on like a strap, so it looks like a purse. So glamorous with, of course, you gotta have chalk white legs. Those little girl tights. I'm sure they're wearing some uh, Mary Jane shoes as well. More fur coats for girls. We have some dark sheer tights. These are teen girls now, we're, we're kind of aging up. Whoa, and look at this one. She looks so evil. It's kind of like a like an equestrian look, right? She has an equestrian attitude as well. Um, also, this is really cool, this oversized fleece jacket with um, pom-poms on the arms, just kind of randomly sewn all over on the arms. That's a cool look. That would still hold up, I think. Whoa, this is like a girl's power suit. Yeah, uh, oversized blazer with shoulder pads and then some matching color crease front kind of pants pant leggings that have a like a stirrup at the bottom for your foot in a in a low heel red little pointy toe shoe that is quite a cool look i really like that sleepover action shots like some sleepover props and poses and themes we have uh, three gals here eating cookies with NCT cups on their laps um, you know, all with matching crossed legs, very ladylike on a tiny, tiny little couch. We're doing hair curlers, we're brushing our teeth, we, we have a mom, you know, towel wrap on the head situation. And everyone's wearing these funny, like, ballet slippers. This girl even has her, her toe on point. Oh man, there's even more sleepover activities. I love the props, okay? It's nice that they're getting props for these pajama looks, even though the pajamas themselves are kind of... Um, <laughs> oh, look at this plaid nightgown with a big, huge ruffle bib and a, and a bow. Wrist length and uh, ankle length, that would be so hot to sleep in. <laughs> Reminds me of one of those covers, like those maid covers you put on a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> That's what she looks like. Anyway, back to the props, yes. We got flour, we got sugar, we got a cookie, we have, we're making whipped cream. So much, so many things to do during a sleepover. Ooh, okay, we're, we're moving into the boys now. Again, great posing, great uh, accessories going on. This guy has uh, boxing mitts and he's becoming unclothed and propping his little leg up in only boxer shorts. Oh God, more great tennis sweaters. These are so good, and they're, what's nice about them is they're like, um, they're narrow, they're not like wide and really boxy, like, these would fit me. 
really good. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, we're, we are now transitioning into uh, adult men's clothes. It's very interesting. They have a model in here with glasses and he has glasses in every shot. So they're like real, real glasses that he's really wearing. See, there he is with his glasses in here. Um, you never see that with, with models. They don't usually wear real glasses. That's an interesting casting choice. I like it. It's cute. They look good on him. But uh, I would imagine normally it would be like a problem with glare, right? <laughs> look at these dweeby pajamas. <laughs> these are so funny and so big. It's like a giant like tent top. It looks like a like a big top um, or, or this full length Ebenezer Scrooge nightgown as well. I've never known anyone who sleeps in real pajamas, pajamas like these with the piping and all that. We've, we've transitioned out of the men's clothing and now we're looking at gifts of beauty, little gift sets. And there is some extremely complex makeup packaging that uh, I'm pretty into here. Butterfly like compact that's in three tiers. It looks like it kind of like stair steps out Butterfly eyeshadow will let her fashion imagination soar. Um, and then on the next page, look at this. It's a pink pyramid that like completely disassembles and turns into a whole like face kit. It's called a beauty pyramid and it's only $20, which is wild. It comes with lipsticks, mascara, uh, concealer, Concealer? How could they? <laughs> what? I don't know how you could sell concealer in this way because like, how would you know if it would work for your skin tone? Anyway. <gasps> this is so scary. It's called a nail groomer and it is a motorized fingernail file. So it has a high speed disc that trims and files your nails. You stick your finger in like a pencil sharpener and let it electrically file your nail down and just hope that it stops at the right length and doesn't keep going until it hits bone. <gasps> that is so scary. I would never use this. This um, Daisy rechargeable thermo spa. Basically, it's like a tube that you stick, stick into your bathtub and it kind of makes like a jet, jetted tub situation. This woman is taking a bath in a transparent smoked glass bathtub which i've never seen anything like this this is like so beautiful can you imagine how cool that would be to have a gla <laughs> glass bathtub um doesn't offer much in the way of privacy but really stunning oh boy all right we are moving into toys sports and more i definitely remember I don't remember this personally, but I know that Totally Hair Barbie is like a thing, sort of a big, big deal Barbie. She's got this crazy tall cylinder ponytail on top of her head. And there's Teresa as well. Here's a whole big spread of like fashion packs you can get for Barbies. I like these because they're very, um, they're, they're telling us a very multifaceted story. There's lots of, there's lots of looks to bring you from, for example, the gym, to your office job, to your other job as a flight attendant, to a glamorous night out with a fluffy cocktail dress, to either a swimsuit or, or maybe some lingerie. I mean, this is like, this is a, a, a whole dang calendar week for you right here, all of these activities. This is so beautiful. And it's called a fashion mansion. The seven room fashion mansion. We have a, a vanity with a mirror. We have a, a desk with a bookshelf. You know, there's a whole study component to it. Even some, maybe a sitting room off of the bedroom. Like they, they have everything covered for, it is a mansion after all. So we need to have some auxiliary rooms that you don't really need. Oh, whoa, <laughs> it's Beverly Hills 90210. Dolls, um, their faces are a little rough. In particular, Dylan looks like 
<laughs> weathered. <laughs> Brenda also looks not not like herself. And mm, it's a little unfortunate, but you know, they, they do what they can. <laughs> Speaking of um TV branded dolls, here is a Michelle from Full House doll that says, You got it, dude. And there's Michelle right there holding it. That is so weird. And again, the likeness is like uh, not so great. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. This like postmodern dream house. It's called a dream palace. With a remote control that does what? It has working lights and realistic sounds like a teapot bubble, dog bark, doorbell ring, toilet flush, and more. I want to live in a house like this, but a real house like this. And then also have this dollhouse in my real house. Wow, so much dollhouse content. I really, <laughs> lucky me, I really got fortunate here. Nice red, white, and blue one. This looks to be like a wooden one, maybe, that you have to build yourself. Yes, it is. In my experience, these wooden dollhouses that you have to build yourself have like the most ugly and unfashionable dolls because they usually have all fabric clothes, um, which don't look good in doll scale most of the time. They don't have the fashion eye that Barbie has. So we have like this like dowdy grandma in a green long sleeve, like shin length dress, not cute, you know. Compare the residents of this dollhouse here and their frumpy garb to the residents of this dollhouse here with this giant bow, high volume party dress and this zip up big windbreaker, very contemporary. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's this uh, talk and walk in portable phone, which looks much like a what a portable phone would look like at this time, really. The phone is saying, I'm your friend. What's happening? <laughs> so we're moving into like kids furniture and stuff. So now we're going to kind of transition into some home home goods. Um, so I will say this is a good place to stop for today. Um, so mark it there for next time. There you have it for now. The Great American Wish Book by Sears, 1992. Well, I hope you enjoyed that flip through. And if you did, uh, it would be a huge help to my channel if you'd like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it. I will link the first part of this little series around here somewhere so you can watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. Um, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you all next week for another new video. So until then, take care.